Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy New Year and a Happy New Year to Richard Reagan. He picked up all the divisions in random division number 12, so I appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. And thanks for your patience. We finally got to it on the schedule. Sean's going to help me out, actually. So there's the five boxes right here. There's one, two, three, and four. Do you have your knife? Or yeah, yeah. I'm using this today. All right. And the fifth box is with me. We, we try to wait. Uh, we try to wait for you, Richard. See if you were still still awake. But you were not in the chat, so we just decided to just roll. Hopefully, this video will attempt to recreate the live experience. We got Sean Jaspi here. He's gonna be coming on live after me. If you're watching live, and he will be. Uh, he will take care of all your breaking needs to the wee hours of the morning. Now, Sean won't be doing uh, late night for the rest of the week until he's back for Instagram on Sunday. So take advantage of his time tonight because there won't be any other late nights the rest of the week. Yeah, Thomas, I think Richard's going to do all right in this break. There's usually a lot of a lot of uh, Joe Burrows and Tua's and Herbert's and some numbered cards and hopefully... Maybe some low-numbered surprises. Now, what we really want to see are those absolute ka those kaboom cards, which there it says right there, kaboom inserts are in here somewhere. We just haven't seen any. Did I upload Elite Extra? Did I not upload that? upload that. Stand by, Richard. Sorry. I forgot to... That, that was probably the, the long break? How, how... That was probably the 40-minute break, right? Sorry, Richard. Hang tight for a second. See, this is just like the live experience. Fast forward through. I think if you press L on your keyboard, you advance 10 seconds ahead. I don't know any of the hotkeys... Uh, I feel like an old person. I just use a little drag button. This must be it. It's that must be that 40 minute video. There's a recap at the end of that Elite Extra Edition as well. So once it fully uploads, you can skip to that. Thanks, Sean. All right, should be going now. All right, back to this one, Richard. I was. Did I hear that? Okay. Question for you. Yeah. Are you a fan of Across the Universe? The movie? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was cute. Okay, so that, that's <laughs> kind of that's kind of demeaning towards it. Yeah, I thought. I mean, I thought it was nice. I saw it in the theaters. I enjoyed it. I mean, I don't think it's gonna win Oscars anytime soon. Well, I mean, it came out a long time ago. Yeah, so that's true. Yes. I think it's, that it's, ship has sailed. <laughs> uh, I mean. I don't think it's gonna be on everyone, anyone's like top ten lists of musicals anytime soon. But I don't know. That's fine. I think it's in my top ten. It's your. Oh, you really I don't love think it. I've seen 10, so I don't <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Musicals. Sean really loves it. It's a great movie. I don't know. I mean, I think I think the Beatles are such an important band to me that I think any anyone else kind of messing around with it just makes it seem. You're one of those guys. Not good. Get off my lawn type guy? Yeah, a little, little, little Beatles get off my Beatles lawn kind of guy. Yeah. Why bother covering the Beatles? It's already perfect. <laughs> so why yeah. play with something that's already great? Yeah, why, why do that? Would you, would, you, would you reshoot Godfather? No. I've never seen it. So what? I wouldn't know. You've never seen The Godfather? Uh -huh. Wow. Do you have, do you have 
A brother? I do. Four a years, father? Four years older. You have a fa I father? Have a father. I do have a father. I blame I blame the Corbett family out there. That may, or, that may or may not be listening. They're good people. I know that I, I know they're good people, but is it just not your genre? Is it not like a? I don't know. I mean, it's, I don't know. I'm watching Fiddler on the Roof and Tevi and stuff like that. You were watching Fiddler on the Roof instead of The Godfather. Is that not? A, that's that's a good musical. I mean, it's a great musical. You know, matchmaker, matchmaker, making me some matches. I get oh, is it. That from that, that? Isn't it? <laughs> All I remember is the if I was a rich, the, if I was a rich boy. Yeah, no, I mean it's a it's a it's, it's a good musical. It's classic. No, I, I've never seen I've uh, never wow. seen uh, Godfather. You gotta well, hey enjoy it this week. In... I think I've seen Scarface. I don't remember. It's to a tongue of Viola for for Richard. Remember Richard has all the divisions. Looking for some kabooms for Richard. Obviously, all of these, everything ships. We'll ship everything. I think it's usually veteran commons don't ship, but for you, Richard will ship everything. Who else has not seen The Godfather in the chat? Anyone watching that has not seen The Godfather? I mean, if you're like 18 years old, maybe I get that. But even then, I think I watched The Godfather. Yeah, I'm like 20. When I was about like 18. Pretty young. Pretty Maybe good. even younger. Is there a movie that your dad made you watch that you watched way too young? Uh, Where like years later you're like, why did my dad show me that? I was way too young for that. No, honestly, you know, was, uh, Mom Corbett was actually pretty cool. Mom Corbett, okay. So what did mom... She, uh, she, I mean, I was way too young to watch it, I think. Uh, she watched American Pie with me when it first came out. American Pie. That's to, uh, what, for rental. There's a lot of raunchy humor in American yeah, Pie. right? And probably a lot of... If you were... How old are you? Um, when did that come out? I don't remember, but... I was probably like... But you know you were too young. Like, you were under 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You were like elementary school, maybe? Uh, Middle school, perhaps? Yeah, I don't know. I have to look and see when that came out. But um, and then I remember... I remember... Because uh, we used to do... The blockbuster on Friday nights thing. Right, right, right. Great. Um, blockbuster, missed the blockbuster. We did a. It was a terrible movie. Actually, I I probably have to rewatch it because it's probably pretty good. I, um, Benicio del Toro, Vampires, Quentin Tarantino. Mexico. Oh, from Dust Till Dawn. Is that the one? I think with George like, George Clooney's in there. They have too? like an RV and they go to like Mexico and like there's a I think like a from... vampire strip club of some sort. Yeah, I don't you know watch that too. <laughs> I watched that. And this like, is Justin uh, Herbert for you, Richard. All I remember is like there was a, it was like, a, the, I think that was the only movie that they were like, yeah, we we're just gonna stop. We're not gonna watch the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, okay. Um, I wa my my dad likes war movies. And um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Full Metal Jacket. Full Metal Jacket was yeah, was mine. Watched that way too young. But Full Metal Jacket, watched that way too young because my dad was like, it's Kubrick, it's a classic. <laughs> the thing you know? is to me, that and movie is great because it's also like two movies in one. It's a two-parter, right. It's like, it's like, so my dad gave me that spiel and then like, I mean, this is not a spoiler. It's been out for decades, so if you haven't seen it, then, um, but the suicide scene, yeah. or, you know, in the bathroom, that, that scarred me for, for, for many Many sleepless nights for many moons. Understandably so. And nowadays, I just fall asleep to that movie. Now it's comforting. <laughs> I like uh, I like a lot of the one-liners from that. I oh yeah. Stack shit that. High. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> Where are you from, Texas? Holy <laughs> shit! The spirits come from Texas. <laughs> you don't look like a steer to me. I was like. I was like, yeah, that's a good one. That's a good quip. I mean, that's the whole, like, I didn't know they stacked shit that yeah, high. Yeah, I was like, like, oh, yeah. Right. I could use that's that at really the playground. Good. Okay. Really good. I could use that at the playground. What are you doing, Joker? Yeah. I did feel like, honestly, I, I felt the pain when he was getting hit by the soap bars, though. Ah, oh, the soap bars. Oh, that hurt so bad. So that, that, you don't want that. No, you can, like, feel it. You're just like, oh. 
And then he went on to be a special victim unit. Uh, That's right. He he was an S, uh, S, SVU. SVU, I think. For a long time. Another Chase Young. There's Justin Jefferson, maybe. With my, with my future wife, Mariska Hargitay. Who? Mariska Hargitay. Who's Mariska Hargitay? She's the really hot... Uh, She's the brunette in yeah, the show? the one that was there forever. Huh. Like, not like, you know, supermodel hot, but like, for some reason... Kind of, kind of like detective hot? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Maybe it's the authority thing. All right, here's another Justin Herbert. All of these add up, Richard. Still looking for that kaboom, though. Still looking for the boom. Okay, you're all good. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's a huge help. Uh, every two stacks is one. Every two stacks is a box, which you can see on the top camera above my head. Now, speaking of absolute, Juan... Zarate wants to do the six box absolute. That's hobby edition, so you'll see a lot more relics and autographs in the hobby edition if that strikes your fancy. There's another Tua. Maybe a low number parallel would be awesome too if we find one of those. What about everyone in the chat? What for anyone who's still ch hanging out here? What's a movie that that your parents, not made you watch, but just watched with your parents way too early. Yeah, like we were saying before, Full Metal Jacket was the one for me. There's Cam Akers. That's the 75. I want to see like a Justin Herbert in that design there. And all these cards I'm sleeving right now will be uh, will be top loaded before they go out. Cruel Intentions was we Randy was too way too young to be watching Cruel Intentions. Yeah, there's there's some there's some risque scenes there. And Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the movie or the TV show movie? I'm assuming it was a movie before that, right? Michael P. Ryan to 75. Oh, oh, oh. Cruel Intentions. Oh, had Buffy in it. Her real name is um, Sarah Michelle Geller. She is married to, I think still married to, Freddie Prince Jr. They still are. And Freddie Prince Jr. did a voice of a Jedi character in uh, Star Wars Rebels, which is a pretty good animated series if you're into that sort of thing. I think his wife did a voice in that uh, in that show as well. I think she was she was the voice of one of the villains. Although you can't tell because they like processed another like filtered her voice to make it sound more evil or something like that, but. She's the voice on that show as well. There you go. In case you were wondering what Freddie Prince Jr. and Sarah Michelle Gellar are up to these days. Here's your update. Well, the Rebels wrapped maybe a couple years ago, so I don't know what they're doing at the moment. Freddie Prince Jr. also did... Uh, Joe Burrow, here's another Jalen Hurts. Freddie Prince Jr. has also done a little bit of... Uh, I think for one summer he was guest hosting a lot on 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 sports talk radio here in LA. I think on ESPN seven ten maybe. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's the update on your first crush there, Randy. There you go. Here's another box. Yeah, she's she's pretty easy on the eyes. I think she I want to say she she looks pretty much the same. She's had a couple of kids too, I think. You just Googled, does she look pretty much the same? I think she pretty much looks the same. Another Jalen Hurts. Let's see what the Eagles do in the off season. Ooh, Cardboard King. I've never seen Star Wars. What's worse, never having watched Godfather or Star Wars? I feel like Star Wars is the bigger offense. Godfather, th that might be an acquired taste. If you don't like that genre, it's an it's an older movie from the '70s. Godfather is so it's 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 longer. It's slowly it's slower paced, though still still gripping, you know, with uh with excellent flashes of a uh, of violence in the Godfather. But I can see how people that might not be everyone's thing. But Star Wars, I feel like, is pretty. Pretty main, pretty easy to consume. I want to say. Gotta watch Star Wars. CJ saying in too deep. I don't remember that movie. What was that about? But CJ was way too young for in too deep. It's Justin Herbert. Right, could this Antonio Gibson card be valuable after this weekend's football activities? We'll see. There's Justin Herbert. No, if Randy Googled Sarah Michelle Geller and it's just not the same anymore. Oh, that, that dream is gone now. Every time I have to flip a card around, I'm like, is that the, is that the kaboom? Uh, it's the green foil right here. There's another Tua. Henry Ruggs from my Raiders. Michael Pittman Jr. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. LL Cool J, Omar Epps. It was an undercover dealing movie. There's a scene with a pool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that cast. I, I, don't, remember, I don't remember seeing it. Cardboard King is telling, telling buyers... Not to not to, to stop buying absolute football. Well, don't tell them not You're taking taking food out of my mouth there, cardboard king. Take 
There's a Joe Burrow and a Chase Claypool. Remember, Cardboard King, you can always change the narrative by buying spots and other breaks. Filling other breaks. Oh, are you saying I have to stop breaking absolute football? It's not tough to watch this break. We're just hanging out. Seeing cards go by, looking for some kabooms. I love this break. Richard loves it too. He bought all the divisions in it. He'd love this more if I find a kaboom card for him. Are you, saying you're, are you telling me you're not having a good time watching this? You're hanging out. No, <laughs> Randy. Randy says let's spice it up with some dynasty and immaculate football. And you guys are gonna hate it when top series. Well, listen, I, I I wish I could just break flawless all day long, but that's that's just not how it goes. Well, good news, Cardboard. This was the last five boxes of the 20-box Absolute Football Fat Pack case. Until we get more. Yeah, Randy's like, I'll take the Mariners in that dynasty break. Yeah, let's make that happen. I'd be down. Also, Cardboard, when Sean Jaspi comes on for late night after I finish this, you, you have to thank him because he helped us pack stack this break. The last stack is right up there. This break would have been, right, what, 23 minutes right now? This break's like a 30-minute 30, 30 break. He probably saved us about 15, 20 minutes on this break. It'll be a lot of time watching me opening opening up packs. So you got you got to thank him. I thank him. Another Chase Young right here. Yeah, and be sure to put Sean to work tonight, folks, because tonight is his. Uh, I think he's taking the rest of the week off until. Um, until he's back on Sunday. So usually he does a few late nights a week, but he's um, not gonna do the third late night of the week, which would have been either Thursday or Friday. Um, so, so we'll put him to work tonight, is what I'm trying to spit out. Put him to work tonight, because you won't see him until uh, won't see him until Sunday. And, and then he'd be on the Instagram stream anyway. 11 out of 35, C.J. Mosley. I kind of like this sort of psychedelic print right there. There's another Joe Burrow. Yeah, he has. I, he, he was like, hey, Joe, I'm thinking about it. And I was like, no, definitely take it. Take that, take that time. Come on, kaboom. The last box coming up. This is this is bumming me out. It's bumming Richard out. Richard Reagan bought all the divisions. I appreciate that. And he is getting some nice quarterbacks right here. Nice stack of QBs right here. Most of which could probably be graded, and if they grades out nicely, it'll be it'll be really nice. But we need a little bit more than that. 
But you definitely need more than that. Kaboom? No. I don't even know if they're going to be flipped around like that or if it'll just, it'll just pop right in front of my face. Let's see. Yeah, the kabooms are, are definitely more plentiful in hobby boxes. The hobby boxes are also a lot more expensive. Chase some of these fat packs here. Yeah, Jeremy, that was awesome. You got your... <laughs> so Jeremy Port got his dad, got old dad into the breaks. Introducing him to the hobby, which I appreciate. Thank you. Or this this way of doing the hobby, Justin Jefferson Green for Richard. Got got he and he did a number block too. Got randomized the number one in Flaws Baseball, a Yankees number block, and his first card's a train whistle. Then he gets a Mariano Rivera out of three and a Lou Gehrig double diamond out of five. Not too shabby. Ben DiNucci. Oh, your son got in. For, wow, hook, line, and sinker. Hey, you know what? We, Jeremy, I'm sure, and I'm sure you, you've noticed this. We intentionally keep things, you know, as family friendly as possible here. And, you know, that's the reason why we do it is we want the whole family. We want, you know, sons and daughters and dads and moms and aunts and uncles and everybody to all be able to, to to get together and you know and and have this be an entertainment option you know for an entertainment option for uh for everybody you know that's the that's the whole deal you know so the whole idea of being a you know tongue-in-cheek family friendly show we get a little pg-13 every once in a while but but you know for the most part that's why, because we want to encourage people to be able to kind of hang out together. You know, we want, you know, we want like guys and their girlfriends or their wives or whatever to be able to watch and not have it be like a weird thing. You know, you can watch some group breakers and you're like, honey, this is what you watch all day long. Okay. that's cool, I guess. But we, we, we want, we want to be a little bit different than that. We want to be able to be able to to kind of, you know, be able to see like, hey, yeah, I don't, I don't mind having Jaspies on in the background while, you know, I'm reading or doing chores or whatever the case may be. Like we want to be that kind of option, that kind of channel. But that's some luck, though. <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is some luck. You know what they, you know what they say in a... Uh, in Vegas or like gambling circles, they say that the, the worst thing that could ever happen to you when you go to Vegas, like the first thing that happens to win. That's the worst thing. I've had, I've, I've, you know, I'm a Vegas guy, I go a lot. The worst, the worst part of the weekend is going and going and, you know, playing a little blackjack or something like that and you're winning. And then you think you're going to, this is how it's going to be all weekend long. It's like, yeah, I'm on a heater this week. <laughs> no. Or when you play like a new game, some random like, poker table variation game or something wacky like that it's like high low three card super poker and you're like sure i'll put 10 bucks on it it's like and, and you win that's the worst thing anything oh i i got this game figured out but hey some people have all the luck and that luck keeps going and you're on a heater. There's a Justin Jefferson. Come on, Kaboom, where are you? Antonio Gibson and another Justin Herbert, which is nice. All those add up, of course, but 
No kabooms as of yet. But a nice stack of cards right here, Richard. I think wasn't wasn't too shabby at all. Who knows what Antonio Gibson might do over the weekend. Justin Jefferson has an outside shot at a offensive rookie of the year. Probably Justin Herbert might win it, but and these rookie cards have definitely gained a lot of value over the years just by themselves. So I appreciate Richard, you once again grabbing all the divisions. Scared money don't make money. Thank you very much. A lot of good cards here though. Tua's and Herberts and Hertz's. Burrows and whatnot, some Joey B's and more Tua's right there. There you have it. Plus a bunch of other cards that I sleeved up. Those will be top load and ready to go. And uh, and we'll, you, we don't ship vet comms usually, but for you, since you got all the spots, we're going to ship everything to you as well. Thanks again, Richard. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Everyone else, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.